This is the Mermel list that we saw play against Hunter's Crusadia deck earlier in the Zodiac Tournament. Now, it's been a little while since we've seen anything Mermail related come out of, hell, the TCG. Uh, we're still missing the Link Monster, which kind of sucks, but a lot of people have been trying to look for ways around the lack of said Link Monster. Now... Light of Sekka, 37 cards, is kind of something that we saw Burning Abyss doing, but it's kind of strange because the TCG Burning Abyss hasn't really gone towards this method. We've gone more towards the danger side of BA, so it's kind of a little interesting interaction that we've kind of seen coming out of those decks in general. Now, all that this deck wants to do is Link Spam, Link Spam, Link Spam, and our enabler for this is going to be Tomahawk. It's two level 7 monsters to make it, Detach two materials, bust them in as many Battle Eagle tokens, level 6, 2,000, 0 as possible, and then destroy them at the end phase. Also, your opponent takes no further battle damage for this turn. A lot of people have been pushing for this card to be banned because it promotes degenerate link spam. Seems to be the uh, trend these days. Uh, it's almost like nobody likes link spam decks. Hmm. But this deck has super easy access to it between Abyss Stoos and wherever the hell Megalo is between Megalo. Now, remember, Light of Second does put that penalty on you and not allowing you to essentially be able to play other spells after you resolve one of these. But it's fine because your entire deck is just Monster Spam Go. Now, the only thing this deck tends to do is just set up Negates turn one. Um, if it goes second, it wants to OTK the opponent. Um, one of the things that this deck does best now that, well... Oh, they put Dragoons back to 3. I don't know why we make terrible life decisions, but they happen. Now that Dragoons is back at 3, we can Mullen Glacia turn 1 almost every game, as long as our hand isn't total shit. Um, if they, Honestly, if the hand is total shit, you're not going to be able to do much, but it's kind of like the singularities that you're kind of going for. Now, this deck is very, very hand trap heavy. You've got 3 Ash, Drolls, and Ogre. You honestly, you have to have these. Um, with the way that the deck has to be designed to play in the current day and age, like I said, you're playing a deck that wants to do one thing and one thing only. OTK your opponent or make a board and make your opponent try to play through discarding two random cards and the full frontal of a Toad. So... That, or I mean, you can go even further and you can just tomahawk link spam them. I've seen this deck do a lot of shit. Honestly, the ceiling's very high. And I'm honestly surprised we haven't seen this deck do anything at regional level. Um, I don't. I didn't think the Mermaid Link Monster was that beneficial to the deck's overall well-being. But for some reason, it just seems that we're missing just that potential. I, I don't know what it is, but if I was going to play Mermails, this would probably definitely be the way I would go about it, just because the ceiling is so damn high for this deck. Fuck it, you know? Gotta go with it. So anyway, on Lenten words and upwards to the list. So we have three Ash Blossoms. Honestly, you have to play you, you have to play some sort of hand traps. Um, he's got Veilers in the side deck. You can't play Impermanence in this, because you'll be specifically clashing with Sekka's Light. So you definitely have to start with three Ash Blossoms. Like I said, you need them. It's it's a give and take relationship, and unfortunately, you're gonna have to give more to this relationship than you want. So there's that. Uh, triple dragoons. Honestly, if you're if you're playing one and you're not playing three of this, I don't know who you are. I don't know what you've done, but please give me back my good Yu-Gi-Oh friend. This is Rota on crack, literally for the whole deck. Searches for any fucking sea serpent type monster unrestricted. Like once again, have to play it. Um, two gobbies of heavy infantry. This is the safe zone, as I'm going to say for this. Uh, you don't play more than two. Uh, you don't play less than two. Two is that number that you need. Um, this lets you destroy a face-up monster on the field, um, which will basically grant you more of your OTK power. Um, you definitely have to do this. During some strange world, um, if you need to normal summon that level four sea serpent monster from your hand in addition to the normal summoner set, you can have it. But, I mean, stranger things have happened, so... In some weird world that you need that, uh, you can get access to it. But yeah, two of this is fine. One copy of Marksman. Don't play more than this. We're, we're in a back row less format now. And if there's a back row, it's probably fucking impermanence. Or in some stranger world, strike. So with the, the lack of back row that we've kind of found ourselves in in this current format, understand that Marksman just loses value. You still have to play one of it, I think depending on if you need to search for it or something like that. So, one of it is fine. No more. Honestly, I don't even know what you would cut for it. 
And we're playing one Christron Rosnix. Target one face of monster control. You cannot special summon from your extra deck for the rest of this turn, blah, 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 except for machine. We don't care about that. You get the Christron token. So you banish this card from your graveyard, special summon one Christron token, but it can't be tributed. The only thing we care about this is it's a water monster that produces a token, and said token allows you to do other watery things. Deep Sea Diva, best damn card in this deck, <laughs> honestly. Uh, this into Miss Star Boy, this into our other starter. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, Triple Gobby's a Droll and Lockbird. Are there better hand traps? I, I ask you. I know a lot of people are on this. This uh, what's, what's the phrase I'm looking for? Uh, Ghost Bell and uh, Ghost Ogre Hype more than this, but stopping your opponent from doing their central combos, yeah, you have to play Droll. And then the last real hand trap we're playing is one Ogre. Ogre on the Firewall if your opponent messes up their chains. One copy of Corruptor Ibli. So... You can do cool stuff. If your opponent gives you Ibli, you can go into your own Ibli. Um, but essentially, this deck is a link spam deck, so you will have access to do Ibli shenanigans, as is all of creation with Firewall Dragon. So, backing that to Clown Girl, uh, I don't see any reason to play more than this. Um, you have your only real big Mermel targets that we care about are these guys. It's just another combo piece to reviving from the graveyard to just continue to shit out the larger monsters. So, something to note there. Now, we are playing three copies of Megalo and three Stu. Uh, Stu just searches for more copies of his friends. Like, you basically, when special summon this way, you can add a level four lower Mermel, so you're going to go search for Clown Girl for revival purposes. So, really all these cards do is they just special summon themselves. Mullen Glacia, aka your win con of the deck, you drop this motherfucker, shave off two cards. You should have absolutely no problem achieving this at any stage in the game. Trouble Neptimus, uh, this is the king of sending from the graveyard for cost. Um, basically this with Dragoons gets your world going, so this is going to be the piece you're going to care most about. Now we are playing the Nimble Engine, so if this card is sent from your hand or deck to the graveyard, you can swatch someone two or up to two level three or lower Nimble monsters from your deck. So yeah, you just you can't use himself, so you kind of do your workaround with that. You have Beaver. This card is normal summon. You search summon one level three or lower Nimble Monster from your deck or graveyard. This just produces more results. And Sunfish, if this card is destroyed by battle, you can send one fish monster from your deck to the graveyard. Then you can splash summon a Nimble Sunfish. So nothing too great here. And then one Road and Toten with Triple Swap Frog. Remember by discarding one other Water Monster, haha, -ha, and then you can do Angler things. Uh, it, the deck is. All big pieces in one giant machine. So I think the important thing to understand here is when you're playing this deck, you've got a lot of moving pieces, and you have to understand that um, as you're playing it. So something to note there. And of course, Triple Light Aseka. The whole reason why we're playing this deck is the immense draw power that we get out of this to ensure that we can do our combos. <laughs> now the extra deck's pretty standard for your your link spam decks. We've got one Trigate, one Summon Sorceress. One Miss Starboy, one Link Karibo, one Unicron, one Phoenix, one Mermaid, two Goblins. Huh. It's almost like I keep saying something needs to happen to Goblin because these annoying ass side arrows. Hmm. One Nightmare Cerberus, one Firewall Dragon, one Decode, one Boral Sword, one Totally Awesome, one Tomahawk. That's it. You kind of just blow your load when you set up your initial combos. Um, you don't really have much else. Like, this extra deck is pretty fucking tight, honestly. You might have a little bit of room, but that's about it. And in the side deck here, we have Triple Denko Rekka. Do you know how much back row just fucks this deck straight seven ways from Sunday? Like, if you actually run into a stun deck, you're going to have to use this to stop it. To effect Veiler if you find yourself needing more hand traps, or if something comes up. Two Gamma Seals. Hey, it's a fucking water. We can take advantage of this. One Ghost Ogre, once again, additional destructive cards. Two Ghost Reapers, you can honestly probably cut the Ogre for another Reaper. I mean, we have our other Cherries target in here. We have three Sphere Mode, going second, break the opponent's board, don't care, do our thing. Yeah, that seems really cute. One Red Eye Sphere Metal for time, and then one is Soul Day, wrapping up this bad boy. Now, like I said, this deck is more or less standard water spam. Uh, you don't have a lot of cool tricks that you can do with this, but I will say this. The way that the deck is designed, it's very integral. It is... I, it's not that hard to play around. It's it's kind of more reminiscent of the three negate board, but instead of the negates, you're just shaving two resources out of your opponent's hand. So, there is that. So, outside of that, 
this is the current water list, guys. Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about the list. I'd like to hear your guys' comments as well. And that's all I got for this video, guys. Deucerinos. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Card Fight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.